thank you for that. I am sorry about that. Um, I will make sure that. So uh, let me. So we have advertising companies that post, you know, some of that stuff for us Mm -hmm. that we don't actually have access to. So I do apologize that your questions were never answered. But if you would like to give me the chance to answer them here over the phone, I would appreciate that. All right. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, As well as it would be all right that I would take this information back with me to my trucking group. Uh, to let them know what you guys got to offer as well. Sure. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So I only have a few questions, so I ain't going to take up too much of your time because I know how busy you guys are. Um, all right. So uh-huh. can, so I've I seen your trucks out here on the road uh, as of late, but uh, can, uh-huh. you, can you tell me a little bit more about the company and what type of freight that you guys haul? Um, I can't tell you like specific customers unless you were here on the yard, you know, but, um, it's completely and totally dry van. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't deal with any reefer, no tanker, no, no hazmat, none of that kind of stuff. Um, it's anything from paper products to automotive parts and everything in between. Um, our boss says if it'll fit in a 53 foot dry van, he'll pull it. So, um, Awesome. That's pretty much awesome. pretty much an overview of that. Awesome, awesome. How how long have you guys been in existence? Um, this is our fourth year. Okay, okay. That's what's up. How much how much uh drive how much uh driving experience do one need to come across uh to come aboard? Just a year for the company side and two years for lease purchase. Okay. Okay. So you guys do offer a lease program. We do. We have a lease purchase program. Um, however, we do not take owner off. So if you already currently have a truck, we're, we're not set up to take owner ops just yet. Okay. Awesome. All right. So as far as uh, the pay, uh, what would be the starting pay for W uh-huh. uh, for a W2 uh, company driver? It is um, a cent per mile based off of verified years of experience and incoming. We start at one year and go up to seven. There is a two cent difference between our Southeast regional and our OTR. So um, it really just depends on the driver. And we also have extra incentive programs for drivers that have been driving for 20 plus years. Um, So, I really wouldn't feel that it'd be fair to give you a starting pay because that may not be a starting pay for everybody. So if you were to advertise what we start at for one year experience, that may deter drivers that have 20 plus years that aren't going to come in making that. Okay. That's, that's a fair assumption. That, that, that's, that's fair. Uh, then, then would it be easier to say uh, a driver of my caliber six years? How much would I start? At six years? Yes, ma'am. Six years flat, or do you have six and a half years? No, nah, six years flat. I was about to say, because if you have six and a half, I would have the authority to go ahead and bump you up to that seven-year mark. Um, at six years, for Southeast Regional, it is 45 cents per mile, and for OTR, it is 47 Oh, okay. Okay. So that's 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 fair. Unless you have military, former police, EMS, uh, first responder of any kind, that does get you an extra cent per mile here. Okay. Okay. Now for your lease, uh, lease purchase program, right? Or is it just straight lease program? Uh huh. Seventy two percent. That it's a lease purchase, mm-hmm. not just leasing. But that's not that's oh. not very appealing, huh? Right. Um. Right. But it is seventy two percent of the line haul. Okay, okay. Uh, of course, this is uh, ten ninety nine. How much is how much would the truck cost me? It is. How much would the truck cost me per month, and how long is the lease before I can actually own it? It's a five year lease, and it's five hundred dollars a week. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, of course, being that uh, I'm a lease driver, I have a little bit more control over what I can do in the truck as well, right? 
A little bit, yes. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So I got so I got a question. All right, because this was this was brought uh-huh. up. This this question was brought up in a in a in a group, and I said, well, that would be a good question to ask for. For you guys that's offering the lease purchase, uh, the 1099 and everything. So let's say, for example, um, something happens to the truck, right? Like, let's say, let's, let's say I'm in a, let's say I'm in a, a, a non preventable accident, or let's just say like a rock comes up and, and, cr- and crack my windshield, uh, who would be, would I myself be responsible for, you know, for getting the truck fixed or anything like that? You are, but we set up a maintenance escrow for it. And 8% of your 72% will go into that maintenance escrow every week. Okay. It builds throughout the entire time of your lease. Mm-hmm. Um, our lease is a complete and total walkaway lease. Um, and if that be the case, if anyone was to ever walk away from it, you would get that maintenance escrow back. Mm -hmm. Also, we don't have any early payoff fees, um, balloon payments, nothing like that. Um, so if you, if your maintenance escrow got up to fifteen twenty thousand $20,000 and that's all you owed on the truck, you could use that to pay it off as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but that maintenance escrow, we set up a equipment escrow, we set up a tag fund escrow, we set up all of that stuff for you, and those are your deductions for your lease. And um, you know, if at any point anything was to happen, obviously you you would get that maintenance escrow back. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, speaking of escrow, like some companies uh, require us to to put down uh, in advance, like. 20, nope, zero down payment. Oh, zero down. Oh, okay. Because like some companies will like like a two thousand uh, dollar uh, escrow or something like that. But no, not not from you guys. Yeah, no, not from us. Zero down, zero interest. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. And of course, again, this is a uh, straight ten ninety nine. So. Uh, I have to be uh-huh. responsible for my taxes, benefits, and all that other stuff. But for a company driver, what yes. what benefits do you guys offer? We have Blue Cross Blue Shield insurance. Um, because we are fairly new, they do not have a four hundred one k set up. But um, insurance is medical, vision, dental. You do get paid time off. Um, so you know your um. First year of employment, uh, at that moment, you get one week, two years, you get two weeks, so on and so forth. Those are paid out, you know, that week that you go on vacation, and those are based off of a 52-week average of what you normally bring in. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, home time, uh, being that you met, you did mention the Southeast regional, um, how, so how, how often would I be home every weekend or every, or every 34? Yes, we, okay. So depending on what lane you choose to run our Southeast regional guys, we are a Midwest Southeast carrier. We don't really go anywhere else. We don't go Northeast. We don't go, um, all the way out West. So um, that being our running lane, we can get weekly home time for both lanes. Now, Southeast Regional, we can promise you a full 48 hours at home every single weekend. Mm -hmm. OTR, we can't promise you really anything more than your 34. Um, But we also have what we call our create your own home time policy. So if you run for two weeks minimum, you can get up to four days at home. The more weeks out you run, the more days on to your home time that you can tack on to it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, and that goes for both lines. All right. So for forty, so for the forty-eight hours, I could come in Friday and get back out there on Monday. Well, the the way it works is, I can't promise you if you're going to pull in Friday morning or Friday afternoon, and if you'll have to pull out Sunday afternoon or Monday morning. But between the weekend, you would have a full forty-eight hours at home. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, what type of equipment do you guys offer, and what are they governing that? They are governed at 67, and it's going to be anywhere from a 15 to a, we've got some 19, about to hit the lot, 15 to a 19, 
We've got Freightliners, Internationals, uh, Kenworth, and Peterbilt. For drivers that are interested in manuals, can you accommodate them? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Awesome. Driver-facing cameras? No, and we never will. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. And, of course, you already mentioned the running lane, so you do offer OTR as well as Southeast and Midwest. So that'll be that'll be perfect for perfect. Yes, but that'll our – Oh, go ahead. Our OTR is the Midwest and Southeast. Uh, oh, oh. We don't run all 48. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Yeah. And and of course you said you also said that you don't run northeast either, so correct. We do not go past I eighty one. All right, cool. Awesome. Is there a sign on bonus with you guys? Yes, sir. It is currently only a thousand dollars. Um, but it pays out over the first two weeks. So uh your first paycheck you know, with your orientation pay and stuff like that will be 500 of it. And then your second paycheck will be 500. You know, I got hand claps going on in my head right now. <laughs> got what? I said, I got, I got an audience applause going in my head right now because you said that, oh. uh, that it's paid out yeah. within the first two weeks. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it's not big, but we don't hold on to it forever either. So, Awesome, awesome. Okay, so since you guys is relatively new and and y'all y'all been in existence for four years, and of course you guys are growing, uh, would would yeah. you guys now or in the near future, let's say, if any drivers that don't have their CDLs, will you be able to help them get them? I'm not sure. We don't currently, but I don't know what's to come for the future. You know, um, he does want to grow. Um, he doesn't have, you know, he doesn't want to get so big that it's like the mega carriers and you go by a number and, and that kind of stuff. But he doesn't have like a cap off number that he wants to get to either, you know. Um, so I'm not sure if that's going to come. All right. It may. But I've just not heard any word of it, you know. All right. So the name of the company is called Suit Transportation, right? Like, like a yes. men's suit, right? That is correct. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. That's what I always use whenever people call. I say like a suit you wear to church. <laughs> exactly. Can you uh can you tell me uh where you guys is located and for orientation, how would you get yes, us out there? Um, we are located, our address is technically an Atala, Alabama address, but we are right on the edge of Gadsden. Um, we're right off of 59, about an hour northeast of Birmingham. Um, the way that we bring drivers in for orientation, we get them a rental car. We pay for that, obviously. We also pay for your hotel while you're here. You do not have to room with anyone else. And then um, we also provide you with lunch while you're here for the two days. We do pay you $75 a day for orientation pay. And then on the second day of orientation, um, we will issue you your truck. And if you needed to be routed back towards your home first thing, uh, we do accommodate that fairly often. You know, you get both. You got guys that bring everything that they they could ever need on the truck. You got those that go ahead and bring that with them. But you also have guys that realize that, you know, if they're, especially if they're kind of local, that, you know, it might not be necessary to bring all of that because we're going to put you in your truck fairly shortly and and be able to route you back home. So we accommodate both. Um, let's see. During orientation, they pretty much just, you know, they go over our ELD unit. They go over our company policies and procedures. You get all of your contact information. You're going to meet all of the dispatchers. Um, us recruiters also come out. We go over our little seal that because we're not just recruiters here. We're also our driver advocates. Um, we handle all retention, you know, so we'll come out and introduce ourselves and put a face with a name and, and go everything that we're over. Um, everything's handled here in house, physicals, drug tests, all that good stuff. 
So it sounds like uh, it sounds like what you guys uh, it sounds like what you guys that you're 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 not out here to, you know, like to scam any of us drivers. You you pretty much say what you mean. And uh, and when what you say, you say yes, what you sir. mean. Yes, sir. And I'll tell you, um, my partner and I, we were we're both fairly new. We just started in the trucking industry last year. Uh, her in February, myself in May. Um, we have come to love this industry so much. But when we were brought in together in recruiting um, in July, um, our boss told us that if he ever caught us lying to anybody, that we would no longer have a job. So it costs too much money to bring a driver in under false assumptions for you to get here, run one or two days, or not even run at all, and to go home. So we don't tell any fibs. We tell you exactly what you would be making specifically. We tell you exactly what's going on on our end. We have nothing to hide. We are open books. We have an open door policy completely. You can walk into the owner's door at any time during the day. Um, there are two of them, but one of them is consistently here every single day. Um, and his door stays open unless he's in a meeting, but you're welcome to walk in there and speak to him at any point. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Suit transportation. Thank you very, very much. Uh, awesome conversation that I had with you. I will definitely, I will definitely spotlight uh, this company in my uh, Facebook as well as my other platforms. Uh, this sounds like a sounds like a so good company. So you are a driver. Yes, I am a driver as well as I'm a I'm a driver. I'm a driver. I'm an advocate, and I'm I'm also a type of person that likes to help out other drivers as well. Gotcha, gotcha. So do you just um, call different companies that you see and and talk yeah. to their people like this as well and like yeah. post about it and stuff? Yes, yes, because I feel I, I feel that there's so okay. many there's so many uh, companies out here, you know, good. And, I mean, good and bad because, you know, the, the drivers, right. you know, the drivers don't need to be. Don't don't need to be kind. Don't need to be scammed. Don't need to be sidetracked. They need right. to, they they need straight yeah. information. And if I you know and if I can advocate, oh, I if I can advocate for the drivers to get that information out there, because you might have some new drivers that's that's coming in this industry, like you said that you, you know that only have a year, but they're afraid to uh to ask the questions that i asked because they probably might have been jaded in the previous right. company so they're right, right and i hate i hear all kind of horror stories all the time of people that have been lied to and and used and abused and mm -hmm. it's just i hate to hear it that's why we straight up front door like if i don't have it for you no we're not a company that is going to pay you 65 cents a mile just not feasible for us right now you yeah. know um but i do have things that that we can offer you know our insurance is great our home time is fantastic you know we do have those things that that are appealing so and and like i said it just costs way too much money and it's a waste of your time it's a waste of my time for me to even try to tell you any kind of fibs and bring you in under false assumptions just for you to go home in two days it's, awesome. it's just not worth it to us, awesome. and we know it's it's a waste of your time. So there's there's just no sense in it, you know. That's what's up. Well, thank you very much, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, once uh, once uh, once I take this back to my uh, group, I will go ahead and send you a link. Send you guys a link so you can you know see awesome. the spot. So awesome. I, well, do you want me to? Um, well, I, do you want me to maybe email you over like our company information and our lease information? Well, you know what? That'd be perfect. I that, I can I can put that in the description okay. as well. And if you like for you know like direct contact for somebody to con uh, contact you directly, you can leave that in the email too. You ready for it? Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Is lockout men l o c k o u t m e n at gmail.com. 
All right. And I will put um, I'll put both of these in the same email. There's a definite spot where you can um, the company information will be first. Mm-hmm. And then um, you there's a definite spot where you can tell that it swaps over to the least stuff. Um, but yeah, I figured maybe if you wanted just the whole overviews that we send out to everybody that, um, that's, that's perfectly fine. That would help you out. With that. I, I would definitely share yeah. that. All right. Well, good deal. Um, yeah. And if you ever have any other questions or if you ever get to looking for a, for a new company, give us a call and let us know. Will do. I appreciate you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Have a great day. All right now.